subscribe to Bloody Monday, and watch chilling horror stories almost every week. Don't forget to press the bell icon. It was the 4th of July. This happened to me when I was 16 years old. It was a Thursday night, and my family and I were going to the golf course that was open to the public to see fireworks. It was a very famous and well-known spot for people to have a nice night to enjoy their 4th of July evening. We got there around 8 o'clock, and the fireworks would be starting at 9 o'clock which meant that us kids had about an hour or so to do whatever we wanted. By now, there were at least 3,000 people here with blankets, food, chairs, and there were a lot of kids running around with glow sticks. We immediately knew that we were going to wander off, but we also knew we had to stay close by. My mom said that my sister and I could go off on our own if we wanted to, but we needed to be back 10 minutes before the show. My sister was nine at the time, which meant that I'd be watching her all the times, no matter what we were doing. We ended up going far enough to the point where we couldn't see the people anymore. And I was pretty sure we were now somewhere that either wasn't part of the event or some private property. However, that's when both of us noticed a small trail through the tree line. Considering this was near a national park, we still had about another 30 minutes before we had to go back and figure to walk through the trail would be nice. It was getting darker. We got into the trail with flashlights on our phone. We were babbling about random stuff. I gave my sister the 10 minute warning. That's when she pointed at something slowly creeping along the tree. We started walking back to the event venue but something followed us as we could clearly hear footsteps approaching us. We didn't look back, but my sister stopped suddenly. She felt as if someone grabbed her leg. When I turned behind, what I saw shook me to my core. I could see no one, but just a hand grabbing the ankle of my little sister. When I pointed my mobile phone flashlight in that direction, I saw pieces of a girl's body moving and slowly crawling towards us. The girl's face was hanging off the tree, which scared the shit out of me. I told my sister that it was time to go, grabbed her hand, and ran out of the trail as fast as we could. The fireworks had already started. We got back to my parents, but didn't say a word to them. The next day, I explained to my parents what I'd seen and my dad called the police and reported the time and location as to what I saw. A week later, the police told my mom that a man thought his girlfriend had been cheating on him and murdered her in the house while she had been asleep. He cut her into pieces and left it in the forest area. My mother revealed this to me years later and I couldn't say a word. That girl's face, which I saw that night, still haunts me sometimes. Did we scare you? Tell us in comments and share your spine-chilling story with us, bloodymondayhorror at gmail.com, and don't forget to press the subscribe button for awesome horror stories.